Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Chatura from AntiVFX and in this video we are going to explain what is audio normalization. It is a very important concept and the audio normalization is uh, the application of constant amount of grain uh, to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level because uh, same amount of gain is applied across the entire recording and the signal to noise ratio and relative dynamics are unchanged. So let me explain what does that mean. So you can see we have opened an audio file, you can listen to it. How to get your first 100 YouTube. Right, so it's a basically voiceover file and uh, in here this section you can see the amplitude of the audio file. Right, so if you go to, uh, if you scroll it down, you can see uh, so the max amplitude is like uh, minus 6 decibel, uh, sometimes it goes above minus 6, you can see. So you can see uh, normally some amplitudes are higher, so normally it's like, uh, you can see, get an idea about the audio amplitude. So what is the normalization mean is increase or decrease this uh, max amplitude value to a certain value. Let's say this is currently minus 3 dB and we want to normalize this amplitude to minus uh, 1 decibel. So when we normalize, when we increase the uh, amplitude of this uh, area, it will also increase the other areas relative to that value, right? So we can also normalize to a below value, right? If you want to normalize the audio to minus 12 decibel, this will decrease to 12 decibel and the relatively other lower amplitude values uh, will be decreased. So let's see how to do that. Uh, this will, that means uh, this does not change the dynamics of the voice because uh, here you can see there is a higher volume, louder volume and here it's a softer volume. So the dynamic does not change but the max amplitude uh, will be changed. So we want to normalize this audio to minus six decibel. That means the max amplitude should be minus 6 and all the other amplitudes are below minus 6 decibel. In order to do that, use one goes to effect, effect and amplitude and compression normalize process. Right, so you will get a dialog box like this and we want to normalize based on the decibel value. Right, so we can change to minus 6 or well, let's say minus 12, minus, minus 12. Right, so when you click apply, you can see the maxed amplitude value changed to minus 12. Right, that is the normalization process. If you want to increase uh, that, if you want to normalize to a higher value, you can, we can set a higher value now. Right, for example, we want to normalize this to minus uh, 0 0.1. There is a shortcut like favorite here. When you go to the favorite menu, you can see normalize to minus uh, 0 0.1 decibel and normalize to minus 3. Those are very common values that frequently we use to normalize audio. Let's say we want to normalize to minus 3. When you click on that, you can see the max amplitude comes to minus 3 decibel and other values increase relatively. So here, this is the, uh, based on this uh, Waveform, we can say that this is the max amplitude and it became minus 3 decibel and other values also increased based on that uh, ratio. So that is how normalization and how you do the normalization in uh, audition. It's a uh, very important because once you finish the recording, uh, you may have a different uh, audio levels. So it is a very good practice to normalize the audio before add any effects. To your audio so i experiment with that and if you have any question please uh, comment below thanks